Hey, 开始，开始。We'll get those suckers. It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. They can't get away with this. And in that time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. We'll track them to the ends of the earth. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. It was early fall, right? Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Not by my recollection. It was damp and foggy as hell. Then, bat chang, this is an safety belt. Hmm, there's a red one. Red one's in the middle. It was tough to stay on a true course. So we kept an eye out for landmarks. It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color, red as blood. The rains that year were torrential, so the whole area was flooded. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. This is very cold. Oh, what's this? Secret file. Hehe, bye. Ah, how now? Won. You take a loose fish, find one. Find a fish. Feel like a fish 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 fish. Except for some some bitches ahead of me wanting to do me harm, so I had to face them alone. I wondered why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shot. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet, but I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. Oh, Fabdoa! Oh, the boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to the cause. Wait, this is what? Ah, my favorite! Oh, you're. You're me, you're me! Point B and I was under serious attack. My reinforcements was nowhere to be seen. Kill that goddamn bounty hunter! Whoa! This is gonna fly up. 哦，还有。啊，你
ni parah macam mah. Semua kot. Terus But luckily, a barn materialized as if right before my eyes. I scrambled up top to get a better view. But just ended up falling inside. So how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Huh? Steve? Oh, so I was there. There's a sound. So I just started walking, and pretty soon. I... Oh. What the hell? Steve. Steve. Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. <laughs> Indians surrounded me from all sides. Indians? Nani? Indians? They were Indians? No. I just wanted to make sure <laughs> Steve was paying attention. Okay. Now, where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, oh, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. Uh, so, where was I? The Daltons. Right. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other. Hunters. Stop that! 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 Oui, oh. Woohoo! Too early, Jiang. Hey, oh, you missed that. Ah! Oi! Kill this machine! Oh, he's about to burn! Kill him already! Oh! 在眼前的大哥。
是轮来的。好、哦，冲啊！啊！哇哦！他们到底在哪里呀？那是我看到的，一个神奇的船。一个船在哪里？对，神奇，但这并不是什么比一个船更复杂。但为什么神奇的船会沉入海里？为什么神奇的船会沉入海里？ Yes, it floated off during the flood of '89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or or a side wheeler? What? What? Does that really make a difference, Steve? <laughs> it was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. Oh shit! It was in that a fusillade of bullets come raining down from on high, and those vigilantes who accompanied me weren't anywhere to be found. I'm not sure that I'm not seeing it. But among those men that were shooting. I thought I saw some familiar faces. Ah! 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 Sounds like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. I set out to do something. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. 看到了。Hello， 你好吗？喂。Right about then, much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck. Pointing me directly at the Daltons, I finally had them. After months of dogged pursuit, it turned out that they had me. Oh no! I'm sending you to hell. Plot twist. The Daltons had played me like a fiddle. 
Apparently, the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted to burn me alive. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean. Uh, oh, yeah, but I was in a fight. about that ship that's gonna launch next year? Largest one in the world? Um, we're oh. talking about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed big. I don't think it'll even float. So anyway... Don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. Huh? They say that the oh. Titanic is unsinkable. Oh, God. But getting back to that steamboat, how'd you get off it, Mr. Breeze? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow I managed to finally disembark. I was coughing up smoke and pretty damn pissed. I was done playing games with those boys. It was time to settle this once and for all. <laughs> They were in this together. <laughs> Two brothers side by side determined to um, take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. Oh. Sad end for Double those two. Kill. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. Oh. <laughs> It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. Juarez. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well... I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They oh. wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but me and my older brothers were bigger and heavier. They were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me. Until I heard he was riding with the wild bunch. Hmm. What a set story. I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Ooh, Xinjiang. Led by Butch Cassidy. 
They were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid, and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, <laughs> I wanted Bryant like all to myself. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, uh -huh. Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Well, I assumed the Wild Bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. Oh. I found the device they used to blow the tracks, so I knew I was headed in the right direction. Okay. Uh, okay. My ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? I can't hear a goddamn thing. <laughs> Well, I made my way off unscathed Shit, and came upon a few members what of the gang the and had no choice but to dispatch them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. Hello there. What's Oh, this is jumped from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward oh, past the right old parcel of desperados. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my prey. Well, what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Hello there! before I am not fond of heights but I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death Odds uh, were I was likely to die that day anyway so I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could it was like shooting ducks Woo! in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks she shot me. Watch the gut. Wow. Uh, oh, you're gonna teach the teeth. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. Man, like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about. Did they come riding in, guns a-blazing to help? Help? From the Pinkertons? No, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome. As usual. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Oh, 
돈이 아닌 게? 我找到了一个人，我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了一个人。我找到了
Property of the Union Pacific. 原来西部时代，他们常用石头来画地图。原来。The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Oh. Uh huh. The next morning. So we are to. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered eighty-five bastard children. Though some say it was only five. Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was going to rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver, and that whore, oh, Fat Sally, geez. she told me. Okay, okay, we're going to check the bridge. The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. And I made it a point to remove any dynamite that I came across. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Oh, any other? Uh huh. But the wild bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. Hey, hey. Oh. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bottle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. What's that going to? Oh, for me. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. Okay, okay. So what happened? Had to remove more of that damn dynamite. Hey yo! Wow, cut. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. I shot the rope. Ah! This is a tipsy. Oh yo! So that was all the dynamite. Funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Oh! Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. Proceeded onward to realize that that way just wasn't going to work. I needed an alternate path forward.
Hmm. The food in your gut nugget. My chicken. Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a long burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. Huh? The burning fuse was so damn quick, I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no! I thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. Oh. Whew. Of course, oh. I was successful, or clearly oh. I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. Kill that as Make him bleed! Send him to forget! Finally, I found those boys. Or more precisely, they found me. Wow. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Oh. Kid Curry! Johnny <laughs> Xiao Luckily, I had located some dynamite. I still, however, had my work cut out for me. Eventually, I 
brought that tone down. And that's when I met Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. as he was. I was just a bit faster. Hmm. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch's Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. <laughs> Those were his last words. So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. stop this train in the first place. Well, the James boys were experts at this. Legend was... To stop the train! <laughs> the hell? They hopped a freight train, having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So, I hopped the same train. Surprise, motherfucker! The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping Hello. to find my man and put a bullet in his head. 
climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bucks. Oh, oh, James Younger then for the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, <laughs> I mentioned that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell. the gentleman's facilities. Suddenly I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, I've had more than a few drinks and uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. Hmm? Uh. <laughs> I never heard so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Greaves? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. Huh? I don't know, Jack. I think I believe him. You don't think he met Jesse James? Boy, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. <laughs> Lay off the do you seriously think that tired Jenny. old man went toe to toe with Jesse Vindemar. James? <laughs> well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around the sides, over the roof. At some point, some some bitch saw me and shouted out, It's a damn pinker! I never worked for that lightning cocksucker, but I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted me dead. Oh no! Somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember. I bet you are. I'm going to pretend to be a sad angry. Maybe. What's up? We're making things like a jail. It was definitely safer on the inside of the train. I came across a flat car piled high with logs and had to come up with a creative way to make my way forward. I wondered if I was ever going to find the front of that train. Or the bastard I was after. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatlin gun. Yeah, seems like you run into a lot of them. Asshole? Gatlin guns. Yes, I did. 
Now, I don't remember how I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Where would you find dynamite? Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story here. Wow, control challenge. Shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. There sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. It was then that Jesse detached the express car from the rest of the day. See Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. What then, Gucci? You had a showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah, Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Yes, it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first, I need to whip my whistle. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch, Jim. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. The perfect place to hide out from the authorities. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. 
engines? Yeah, they, they could have been a little shy, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. Hey, how about another whiskey, Ben? Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Hmm. Yeah, Michael. Now where was I? Indian try. I had more than my share of run-ins with the Red Man. Like that time. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. Ah, <laughs> oh, of course I did. In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again and kill many more men. And the darkness will grow until it consumes everything you are. So, did you ever find it? The man you are after. Let me ask you something, Ben. Do you ever think about death? Mr. Graves, are you all right? Ooh, dear. Ooh, dear. <laughs> the hell? Won't you spare me over till another year? What is this that I can't see? With ice cold hands, they can hold of me. Well, I am death, none can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Old death, someone would pray. Could you wait to call me another day? Old death, oh, old death, won't you spare me over till another year? So, are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. Did you ever find him? Reed was indeed that son bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was gonna stop me. Nothing. I finally did track those outlaws down. 
They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. He backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. Well, I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Greaves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers, fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Justice? Isn't that why you were hunting the James Gang? The James Gang. Right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. It was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my possession. Dynamite? On your person? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. I'm just laying out the facts wait, wait, as I remember. Wait, wait. Fala! Kaboom! That old shack? Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? Hmm. I'm done with this damnable outlaw life! Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will! At this point, I just don't give a shit! I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him! I never did like that bastard! I am done here! We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. So, what happened with me? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts, and I was determined not to let that murderer escape my revenge again. You ain't beating me, boy! 
Super Sydney 出来。But rather than wander in willy nilly, I decided it would be better to smoke that some bitch out. Hey Reed, I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Belle Star while you're off providing for the family. She's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. Not an attractive woman exactly, but very friendly. At least she was to me. Son of a bitch! Ugh. It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Will someone please kill him? <laughs> Sao Xong bao thái rồi Eventually, it was just me and Reed. I had waited a long time to face him down, so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Pay him, I did. 